What's up guys, Viper here. I'm going to be starting up tutorials again because I want to help you guys become better editors and stuff because um, uh, I, I often get loads of requests on how to do stuff when people watch my edits and whatever. So uh, I want to help you guys and just show you guys how to do some effects that you might have seen before. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to be learning how to do 2D animation but 3D motion tracking, if that makes sense. So kind of like... You should have seen an example at the start, I've used it in my last three edits. Um, but basically it's like 2D text, 2D objects in a 3D workplace, like in a 3D plane. So, yeah, you should have saw an example at the start. And that's basically what we're going to be learning today. So anyway, uh, I just got my raw cinematic here, it's just on um, Underground, I think, which is my least favourite map. But anyway, uh, I just got that cinematic for, I, I really don't know why. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new folder. I'm just going to call this empty tut. Drag that in. And open it up. And we just have it in here. Make a new folder. And I like to keep everything organized. Obviously you don't have to do this. But I like to keep stuff organized. I'm just going to call this project files. So you can save stuff in there. And another folder called just seq. Short for sequence. Because we're going to be rendering a shitload of frames in here. So you want a new folder for that. Because if you, want, if you render that to the desktop, you're obviously going to be very disappointed when your computer breaks. So anyway. Uh, what we want to do is we're going to open up Sony Vegas. You can do this in After Effects as well. But I like to crop stuff in Sony Vegas because I just find it easier. So just drag in your clip. I'm going to delete the audio from this. Just, just highlight the audio. Press U on your keyboard and delete. There you go. I'm going to find the point where I start to move. So, basically the idea is of this is I'm going to put some sort of text in here. Okay, so, hang on, I just want to find where I, a good position here. Then right there is good. Just to the start, and I'm going to cut it off around 8 seconds. Because 8 seconds is about 500 frames. And 500 frames is ideal. Obviously it can be longer but this is a tutorial and I don't really want to spend too much time because obviously YouTube has uploading limits and stuff and it's going to be a long tutorial, Jesus Christ. But anyway, uh, go to event pan crop right there, that little button. I'm sure you know how to do this because if you're watching a motion tracking tutorial, hopefully you've some experience with these programs because, I mean, just look up basic tutorials if you're not really experienced but surely you are if you're watching a motion tracking tutorial. Uh, also, I will have tons more tutorials on the way so just click subscribe above and um, stay tuned for a shit more tutorials, shit ton of more tutorials so I have a preset here called COD4 buttons which will do that but you see COD4 buttons here because I'm just basically cropping out these buttons and spectating bear they're different to the Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 engine so you want to make another preset called buttons and if you don't know how to do that, just uncheck these two boxes. They're normally checked by default. Uncheck them, you can just move this around. And do whatever you want, and then you can just crop them out. But I have a preset just called Buttons. There you go. And you have these black bars, you don't want that. So go to Properties, right-click Properties, Disable Resample. You always want to do that. And uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio. And you should get a perfect... Perfect video. Oh, Christ, no. That's not what you want. You can see there... Zooming in, we don't want that. We want to have this keyframe here. You can see this is the point where it's actually zoomed in right at the start. So I kind of messed that up. Delete that keyframe. Sorry about this, new guys. Make sure you're right at the start. Then put the buttons keyframe thing image again. Like that. So now we should be good. There we are. And I'm using Sony Vegas 11, so the rendering might look a bit different. Click render. And it looks. this is what it looks like for Sony Vegas 11. Um, it's only Vegas 10, it's the same idea, really, you just need to follow along on your version. But yeah, what I'm going to do is you need to render in two formats. You want to render one as an image sequence, you want to render a PNG. And this is where you're going to put it into your sequence folder. Because this is going to render like 500 frames, so obviously you don't want them scattered around your desktop, whatever. So you want them in a folder, neat and tidy, whatever. Save it in there, and then you want to make another one. Which we'll be using in After Effects later, which will be the AVI right there. I want to render it like 
720p, 60 uh, UV, uh, YUV, which is uncompressed, so it's the best. So I'm just going to render them out, and um, yeah, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, we are back, and as you can see, it took 16 seconds, because I have a computer with the processing power of Chuck Norris's brain. So anyway, you just want to save this um, file to your project files place majig because obviously you don't want to get you if you mess up you want to go back to it so next thing you want to do open up Bojou if you don't have Bojou it's probably the easiest program to get just look it up you'll have it in like 10 seconds this is Bojou 5 it's pretty much the same idea with all the other versions of Bojou and I'm gonna yawn right now I'm really tired I don't know why yeah but anyway here we are and here are my two files that are in here's my AVI and here's my sequence and like I said 479 frames so I have untitled 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. drag that in and you want to make sure the start frame is 0 because normally this is set to 1 but After Effects and Sony Vegas render from 0 so you want to make sure that's 0 and is my microphone too close to me I don't even know anyway, Make sure your frame rate is 59.94 because that's what I work with. Make sure it's rendered in 59.94 as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. And I just tapped my microphone. Sorry about that, guys. Click apply. Uh, if it asks you to use the sequence as a mask, click no. Close. And you want to go to setup. Edit sequence. Yep. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, Bojou is mentally deficient, so you need to change the frame rate again to 59.94. Apply and close. And actually, it might have, yeah, make sure the start frame zero. Okay, so run through it, make sure everything's working okay. It's fine. Put your cursor in the middle, it's the best way to do it. Click track features, advanced, make a lot of these, you want a lot, because we're going to be working with them later. Just make a lot of these stuff oh, all the way up, yeah, all the way up. Start. Uh, and it should take a few minutes, not too long though, um, depending on your computer, obviously. So I'll be back when this is done once again. Okay, we're back and that took about, I don't know, three, four minutes. What you want to do now, go to camera solve and we're actually like really, f seven minutes, 30 seconds into this tutorial. I know it's pretty long, but it's a long process. There's only about four minutes left, I'd say, so I like to explain everything as well. Just click start there. I like to explain everything in depth as well, so yeah i'm sorry about the long tutorial but yeah it'll be so much more in the future it'll probably be quick tips as well so subscribe if you want to see those if you haven't already and yeah just uh just click camera solve and click start and you're uh you're done pretty much like it's a uh, it's a really fast process the camera solve bit unless you want to click optimize camera path smoothness now what that will do is it'll just pretty much optimize the camera path smoothness uh but if you have any sort of bumpy camera movement then it's gonna mess the entire thing up so just don't bother and it takes so much quicker if you try and do that with the camera pot smoothness it'll take freaking ages so just I normally stay away from it you can do it if you want it doesn't really matter and now we're gonna do the scene geometry now if you've done coordinate geometry in school or whatever you will this will be so easy to you but basically I coordinate from hint and make sure this is, let's start with the Z axis. And Z axis is, as you should know, going away from you. So I'm going to use this train. So you want to click one point and then click another point, like away from it. So let's do this point. And this one, this one's better. This point and this point. Click connect to selected. Add another one. Let's do the Y axis. That's up. Uh, so let's do this one and this one. Connect to selected. Add another one, x axis, this is across, maybe this one and this one. Obviously, this will be different for your footage, but you know, it's pretty, same, it's pretty much the same idea. Add another one, origin, and origin is 0, 0. 0 0.0 on the uh, the plane. So, right in the middle somewhere, right there, it's good. Click selected, and my voice just went completely off there. And update coordinate frame, update it again, just update it, keep updating it, yeah, fucking hell, update that shit. Anyway, close it, should be done. Uh, so now that basically just hold the, the Bojou, the plane, so this is Z, Y, X, origin. So yeah, that's basically what it did. Now what you want to do is you want to just pick a few points where you've got a motion track. I'm going to do this one, this one, 
uh, sorry, hold and control this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I'm just going to pick all around the area where I'm going to motion track and maybe one in the middle. And one, what you want to do is right click one of those, flag for export, go to, that should flag them for export then, and then you want to go to export. I think my phone's about to ring. God damn it, anyway. No, it's not. Export, camera solve. You want to do, first thing you want to do, Change this to After Effects Maya or .ma. Uh, export flag tracks only, very important. Start frame zero, like before. Scale seen by. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, the bigger you go, the smaller it gets. Normally I do 500 for After Effects. If you're using like Cinema 40, you do like 100. That's good when I use Cinema 40. Then you want to just save this. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. Motion tracking tutorial, project files, and I'm going to call this MA because that's the file. Click save, click save, and then you can save this if you want. Save as whatever, yeah. Open up After Effects, and my Windows thingamajig will probably change. So, what I'll do is I'll pause this because sometimes it interrupts the, uh, the recording. So, I'm just going to. Okay, and uh, we're back. Just open that up, and like I said, it would change because I don't know why it does it for me, but it does. We're 11 minutes in, so we gotta hurry this shit up. Let's bring in, let's bring in our project file here, our MA file. Quickly drag that in. I'm gonna rush this because it's freaking 15 minutes. Ugh. Anyway, After Effects MA is a composition. Open that up. You should see null objects, and 500 is that size right there, what you're seeing. So you can go bigger or smaller if you want. Then you want to drag in your AVI file that we made earlier. This is where this comes into play. Drag that in, put this on top, and you should see your footage and your motion track points. How cool is that? So anyway, scale this up to 200. And uh, now we can just motion track whatever the hell we want in here. So it doesn't have to be text, it can be absolutely anything you want. I'm going to do Typography Pro because it's the best font in the world. And it's very expensive actually, this was like 60 euro but I got it for free because I'm a hacker. Um, well not really, I'm just a retard who won't pay for stuff. So anyway, just, I'm going to put in tutorials. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh God. Tutorials. Uh, put that wherever the hell you want. Now you want to press F4 on your keyboard. On the thingamajig, make this 3D by clicking the little box. It shall go some random place. Bring it back up. And you want to pick a null object where you feel would be best so just click I'm just going to use that one press P on your keyboard for position highlight position control C for copy go to the position of the tutorial and control V to paste it onto that and now if we scroll through this it's like stuck to the scene so how cool is that guys motion tracking tutorial sorry about the long tutorial my next ones will be quicker obviously but this is a really really huge sort of project to work with so yeah i hope you enjoyed hope you found it helpful and uh, hit subscribe above for new tutorials coming very very soon uh thank you for watching and uh, yeah like and help guys bye